Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Andrew Steinman from KenISD. Our current Moodle module is coming to a close and we are about to start our next module on flipping the classroom. For those that are unfamiliar with this topic, uh, flipping the classroom is uh, just the opposite of your traditional model. In the traditional model, uh, the teacher presents new information in class, which then students apply when they go home for homework. In the flipped classroom model, new information is introduced at home through some type of video or through other forms of media um, and then students come to class to actually apply what they've learned um, at home. This flipped classroom model is a little bit more student focused because students are actively engaged with the content and the teacher plays a different role as assisting students as they go through their exploration of the material and then assist students as needed. In order to create these videos, a teacher needs to have some type of screen capturing tool. Through that screen capturing, they create what we call a screencast. Um, and the screencast involves the video from the screen and then the teacher's audio. There is a variety of different screencasting tools that are available, uh, but really there's one that I recommend uh, because it's quick and easy to use. Uh, this tool is called Screencast-O-Matic. Um, it's a web-based application, which means there's no installation needed on your computer and you can share it to YouTube or download the videos to your computer or actually just save them on Screencast-O-Matic's website. Alright, well enough talk, let me actually show you how to do this. Um, so what you need to do is just open up your favorite web browser, whether it be Internet Explorer, uh, Firefox, or Chrome, and type in screencast-o-matic.com and hit enter. Once you're there, you can choose to log in or you can create a new account by also clicking log in and then you'll have the option on the right to create an account. For me, since I already have an account, I'm going to just log in. All right, and now I'm logged in. Now, whether or not you're logged in, you can actually create your own screencast by just clicking start recording. So if I click this button, if it's the first time you've opened Screencast-O-Matic, it might take a minute or so to open up, but then after the initial time that you've used it, it will only take seconds to open Screencast-O-Matic. Once it opens, you'll get this dotted frame, and the way it works is that anything within the dotted frame will be recorded after you hit the record button. You can adjust the size by grabbing any of the boxes in the corners or um, on the sides and adjust it. You can also click the middle and then drag it to move the whole frame. Um, if you want it to be a certain size you'll see that there's some options down here and also you can make it full screen. Uh, for my sample screencast um, I will actually make it full screen just to make it easy. Um, once you're ready to go you just hit record and then you'll get a countdown and go. Um, for me I should have my um, presentation ready to go so you should do this beforehand unlike I did um, and then once you're recording which I already am I can just go ahead and say uh, oh hello ladies and gentlemen this is Andrew Simon from KenISD and I can go through my whole presentation I'm not going to say it again but it's recording everything that I'm doing right now and then when I'm done you see I go back here to my screen recorder and then click done um, if you do not use the full screen, uh, you'll actually see that Done button on your screen and you can just click that. Uh, now that I'm done recording, I can preview go. my video. Um, for me, I should have my uh, presentation ready to go, so you should do this beforehand unlike I did. Um, and then, once you're recording, which I already am, I can just go ahead and say... Uh, Alright, so you can see that I've recorded my video and my audio for my screencast. Um, now that I'm ready to publish it, I can publish to Screencast-O-Matic, YouTube, or I can download it to my uh, computer, which is the publish to video file. Um, just so you know, if you publish to Screencast-O-Matic, you do need a Screencast-O-Matic account. And same goes for YouTube. If you want to publish to YouTube, you need a YouTube account. Um, really, the benefits of both options with screen, uh, Screencast-O-Matic, you can go to one place to create, upload, and share your videos. 
Um, but the benefit of YouTube is if you are using a tool like Blogger or Weebly for your online presence, um, those integrate really well with YouTube. And so if you want to actually embed any of your videos that you create into your website, which means that instead of me going to Screencast-O-Matic to watch the video or go to YouTube to watch your video, you've already put it into your website. And so I just click play and off I go. Um, so YouTube works really, really well um, with Weebly and Blogger. Uh, you can still embed videos from Screencast-O-Matic or other websites um, that provide streaming video into your Weebly or Moodle or whatever online presence tool you're using. Um, it just takes a couple of extra steps. Um, so for me, I'm already logged in. I'm going to publish this to Screencast-O-Matic. And when you publish to Screencast-O-Matic, you have to have a title and description. Um, just for time's sake, I'm just going to copy my title and put it into my description. Um, I can also add notes, captions. Um, there are some other options here. Um, but really, most of the time, you're just going to go down to the bottom and click Upload to Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, notice I did not get the option to edit my videos. In order to get that option, I have to upgrade to a pro account. Um, and that will cost you, I think it's around $15 or so per account. Um, but they do offer um, school uh, discounts if your whole school purchases it. Um, so you can see I uploaded it, it encoded it, and now I'm ready to go. So I can click this link and I will start watching my video. And go. Um, for me, I should have my... Um, all right, we don't need to watch that again. Now that I have my video uploaded to Screencast-O-Matic, I can scroll down um, and you'll see I have this thing called the share link. And I can copy this, which I can then share through email, my website, whatever it may be and anyone can click that link or paste it into their web and browser go. and um, they can watch the me, video I should have my uh, they can watch that video through Screencast-O-Matic now in order to embed that video you're going to um, need this embed code and so you have to copy this now you can't just paste this into your website you need to know how to use it and there are tutorials in the Flip Classroom module in Moodle that will explain how to do this using different tools. So now that you know how to make a screencast using Screencast-O-Matic, I want you to create your own screencast. You don't have to do that right now. Um, you're actually going to do that during the next session that we meet. Um, you won't be using the whole time, uh, probably just the second half. I'm asking that you bring um, a presentation or some type of lesson that you can use in order to create your screencast. If you have trouble thinking of something or just don't know what to do, um, I'll be able to provide you with something that you can use um, to create a sample screencast. Um, during that time, Kindy, Craig, and I will be available to help you out wherever you need that help, especially if you're creating a, a YouTube account that might, that sometimes is a little tricky. I hope this screencast was helpful. Uh, feel free to use this again during that time that you'll be working uh, during the session. And also, please feel free to email me, Kindy or Craig, if you have any questions or concerns.